We're all at home right now looking for new things to do, new movies to watch, and new TV shows to binge, and that's exactly what we're talking about today. I'm going to give you guys five original Apple TV Plus shows that you can watch right now, so let's break it down. Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot here today to talk about five new Apple TV original shows that you all can watch and binge during these stay-at-home times. But before we dive into this list, if you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new content. Give this video a thumbs up. really helps out the channel, but also really appreciate it. Make sure you're following me on all my social media accounts. And last but not least, if there are other streaming services or other shows or movies that you all want to recommend to me to maybe review or other things that you guys are excited for let me know your thoughts in the comments below so apple tv plus it launched this past november 1st and uh so far they have over 10 different original shows and i have watched about seven of them but five of them in its entirety and those are the shows we'll be talking about today so starting things off like i said i, I got my apple um subscription last year when i got a new phone and kind of just kind of explain apple tv plus as far as availability goes if you have an iphone or any apple product that you purchase I believe it was September and on you get a year for free and that's currently how I'm watching Apple TV plus after my year subscription ends it's $4.99 they do have a seven day trial for free and then again after that seven days it is um, you know $4.99 and I believe right now with everything going on Apple um, and I believe Epic and HBO has a promotion where they're just giving you a bunch of free stuff to watch uh, until these times kind of get back to normalcy so uh, that's how you can get Apple TV plus but like I said I've been on the platform since November and these are the shows that I've watched so far and I'm going to rank them for you starting off with my number five show and that is my most recent show that I watched with Apple TV Plus and that is Amazing Stories uh, from the visionary executive producer of Steven Spielberg and many others this reimagining of the classic anthology series transports everyday characters into worlds of wonder possibilities and imagination so this show like I said just ended about a week and a half ago there's five episodes they range between 45 to an hour long and you know overall thoughts you know like I said this is my number five uh, of shows that I'm recommending it, it, it's it's an okay show it's not what I expected it to be I, I never watched the original series uh, and, and, and a lot of people in the comments when I reviewed the show week to week said that the original is a lot better than the new one uh, and I'll check it out eventually but there are some things I liked about the show, some of the messaging uh, that they had, some of the performances, seeing you know Dylan O'Brien, uh, seeing the, the legendary actor uh, Robert Forster, who's passed away, uh, seeing him was cool, and there are some things that I liked about the show, but I think overall, some of the execution didn't really land for me completely, but if you have a family and you're looking for something a little lighthearted, uh, especially compared to the other four on my list, uh, this might be something you might enjoy. So my number five, again, is Amazing Stories, which leads us into my number four, is Dickinson, uh, starring Haley Steinfeld. Failed, poet daughter total rebel in this coming of age story Emily's determined to become the world's greatest poet now this was a show that was one of the a launch uh, shows on Apple TV plus and it was one of the few shows that was available uh, the first day of launch so you can see all of the episodes again this one actually had our 10 episodes and 30 uh, minutes apiece and they were actually pretty entertaining I was very pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed that show again you can watch my review for all these shows but in particularly with Dickinson I had a good time with it was funny I end up really enjoying some of the characters who I didn't think I was going to enjoy from the beginning but by the end of the season uh, you know you, you get, get to know these characters you get to go on their journey and there's a season two that everything's kind of been on on hold with everything going on but I'm looking forward to see what they do in season two but it is a coming of age story with some comedy they do kind of even though it takes place in a very long time ago and it's a fictional story uh, to an extent but there are some moments where you get some kind of uh, things you can relate to and they kind of throw in some modern things some songs and some quotes and some jokes but overall I was very pleasantly surprised with Dickinson and like I said if you guys look for something maybe a little bit more lighthearted in regards to comedy with a little bit of edge because it is TV 14 if I'm not mistaken but I had a good time with the show and I recommend you guys check it out and that was my number four pick of the Apple TV Plus original shows coming in at my number three is the Jason Momoa show C Iris has decimated humankind those who survived emerged blind Jason Momoa stars as the father of the twins born centuries later with the majestic ability to see 
who must protect his tribe against a threatened queen. Now, this show really was entertaining, in my opinion. It, it kind of started off a little slow, but by the third episode, I was completely hooked. Now, this show is about an hour long per episode, and there were a total of eight episodes. And again, by episode three, I was really engaged in the story. I was following along with Baba Voss. I really enjoyed Jason Momoa's uh, presence and his him being a leading man. There were some supporting characters that weren't as strong as I wanted them to be, but I'm looking forward to see their arc in season two. But one of the things that really stood out to me was the immersiveness and the real world building but another thing that really made me happy being an action fan was the brutality in this show it is like on another level it is very violent it is rated r infomature so this is definitely not kid friendly uh but if you're into action into adventure uh, a little bit of family drama uh going on i think this would be a good show for you all and like i said you can watch my reviews that i did for uh the uh, c uh season one and i'm very excited to see what they do with season two but that is my number three pick jason momoa's c so come Coming in at my number two Apple TV Plus show that I recommend, that is the M. Night Shyamalan thriller kind of family drama, supernatural elements, Servant. From M. Night Shyamalan, Servant follows a Philadelphia couple in mourning after an unspeakable tragedy creates a rift in their marriage and opens the door for a mysterious force to enter their home. Now, this show is, I won't give too much away with this show because this is something I recommend you stay clear from any spoilers or even watching a trailer. Uh, oh, I'll say watch a trailer because it's very creepy and it kind of grips you in, but it is a fascinating show. I really enjoyed the performances. Uh, there's a particular character that you don't know or if they're good or they're bad. Uh, by the second half of the, the season, things really kind of ratchet up in regards to the supernaturalness. And that's the thing I really love about this show was you're kind of questioning yourself in the guards was, is this real? Is this supernatural? It's a really good mystery, really good drama. I'm really excited to see what they do with season two, especially after that finale. Again, check out my reviews that I did for Servant. Really was pleasantly surprised. One of my favorite shows on the platform. One of my favorite shows uh, that I watched last year in general, and I highly recommend you all check it out again. Servant is a really good time, and I recommend you guys check out that show. All right, so my number one show on the Apple TV Plus platform is The Morning Show. Uh, nominated for three Golden Globes, this unapologetically candid drama looks at the modern workplace through the lens of the people who help America wake up pull back the curtain on the early morning TV. Now, this show has some great performances across the board, some powerhouse actors from Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Addison, and Steve Carell. This has a really good supporting cast. There's some sub subplots that I was very interested in, very, very intrigued to see what they do with a season two, especially after that uh, somewhat cliffhanger of a finale and shocking cliffhanger of a finale. Um, the show really kind of dives into some of the real world things that took place after the Me Too movie been and people being called out from there, uh, you know, being inappropriate with female uh, co-workers and it kind of brings that to the light but also adds in its own storylines and characters and things of that nature and just a really good drama. Again, I'm not a big uh, news watcher uh, so this kind of giving you behind the scenes of how they make the news but also going into the characters and how they kind of put on face and how they kind of are uh, backstabbing. Really fascinating show. Again, it was nominated for three Golden Globes. It's my favorite show on Apple TV Plus and I'm very excited to see what, see what they do with a season two of the morning show but that is my number one pick uh the morning show so there you have it guys my five shows that i recommend you check out on apple tv plus uh again there are 10 shows in total i've seen some other ones that i just didn't really like but those five really kind of stood out to me so let me know in the comments what shows you've watched on the platform i've also seen some of their movies well one movie the banker uh but let me know your thoughts on the platform let me know if you're going to sign up after watching this video and let me know if you're going to continue to stay on with apple tv plus after your seven day trial or after your subscription ends after a free year let me know your thoughts in the comments below so as always guys let me know if you would like to see more of these videos one for netflix hulu uh, hbo let me know your thoughts in the comments i would love to do more of these but i would love to know what your thoughts are in the comments below so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one